Hello, I'm Sergio Meyer and welcome to Tech Time Tips. This tip is going to be how to install Windows Live Mail on your new computer with Windows 7. The reason being is because uh, Windows 7 actually doesn't come with any mail programs built into it. It's a little weird. Um, most versions of Windows do. Windows XP did, Windows Vista does. But they decided not, Microsoft decided not to include that now. So if you want a, a free email program, the best choice is Windows Live Mail, which is made by Microsoft as well. So let's go ahead and start that up. Um, I already have the installer, the, what you have to download from the internet on my computer, but I'm going to show you where you can get it first of all. You'll notice that at download.live.com, you'll have an option to choose Windows Mail, and we just, want to, we just want to choose Download. And like I said, I already have it, so I'm not actually going to save it, but all you have to do is save it to your desktop. And once you have it on your desktop, you can go ahead and double click it, and it's going to start the installer up. One thing that will come up is since this is a, a new program, it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to install it that you started. It's a security feature, so you can go ahead and click a yes on that. And it's going to take a little while to uh, prepare all the programs. Now you'll notice that I said programs instead of just program, and that's because they have a whole suite of Office, or I'm sorry, Windows Live programs out. Um, Windows Live Mail is just one, but it also comes with Windows Live Movie Maker, um, Windows Live Photo Gallery, and the reason is because Windows 7 is actually missing quite a few programs. Um, it's not it, Windows XP and Windows Vista came with something called Windows Movie Maker. Windows 7 doesn't. Um, it also came with um, you know a mail program, like I said, and a messaging program. But Windows 7 doesn't come with any of that. You have to choose to download that. Today we're just going to concentrate on the mail program, though. So you, you can uncheck everything you don't want to install. So I'll, un I'll uncheck all of these, and we just want to leave Windows Mail checked. And I'm going to choose Install. And it's going to go, go through and start the setup. And this can take a few minutes, um, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, and if you have older versions of uh, email programs, it's got to take settings from. But it doesn't take long at all. It just takes a couple of minutes. And you'll see that we're almost done here. And this is a completely free program, um, so you don't have to worry about paying any money. Even though it doesn't come with Windows, it's actually designed to work great with Windows 7. Microsoft is intending you to, to download it and use it. It's just kind of a mystery as to exactly why it doesn't come with the computer by default. Um, you might actually notice that you already have this program if you bought the computer from someone like Dell or HP, and that's because they know so many people are going to get it anyway, they pre-install it for you. So that's kind of nice. So if you already have it, you don't have to worry about this installing step. You can just go straight into the mail program and, and get started from there. Okay, and so we're just finishing up here with the installation of Windows Live Mail. Um, you're going to notice when it's finished, it's going to ask you for a couple of settings you want to choose. It's going to ask you if you want to set your search provider, and that's just if you use Google or Bing or whoever you use to search on the internet. Um, it, it wants to set Bing as the default. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I already have Bing set as my default, which is just fine. Um, and then it's going to ask me if I want to set MSN as my home page. And of course, your home page is just whatever website comes up first when you open up the internet. And I don't want to have MSN as my home page, so I'll uncheck that too. But if you want either of those, go ahead and leave them checked. And this last option that says Help Improve Windows Live, that's just a program where if you check that box, periodically your computer is going to send information to Microsoft to help them improve the program in the future, like if it crashes and whatnot. That's completely up to you. Don't feel obligated to do that. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to hit Continue here. And the last thing that's going to ask me is, do I have a Windows Live ID? And what that is, is if you maybe have a Hotmail address or a Microsoft address um, that you use for either your Xbox or if you use it for any Microsoft service online, something called .NET Passport, which is a service that Microsoft has online, then you would have a Windows Live ID. If you don't, it you can choose to sign up, but that's completely optional as well. So I'll just hit close. And then I've got, it, I've got it all the way installed, so let's go ahead and choose it. I should be able to find it right here in my Start menu, Windows Live Mail. And I'll click on that. Now the first time you start it up, it's going to take a little while. And that's because it wants you to go through the tutorial of how Windows Live Mail works. And it wants you to put all your email settings in. I'll go quickly through that, um, but if you don't know what your email settings are, contact whoever your email provider is, and they should be able to tell you this. But it's pretty simple. Um, we're going to go ahead and see where it says email address. I'll type in my email address here. And then your password in there too. 
And of course, if you wanted to remember the password, you hit check, you leave that checked. And where it says display name, you can type in whatever name you want. So my name is Sergio, or whatever you want it to show when you email people. And the last box says manually configure server settings. That's if you need to use specialized settings for your email. Whoever you have email through will be able to tell you if you need to check that or not. And then you hit next, and it's gonna go ahead and ask for your server names. Once again, this is something you've gotta check through your service provider, they'll be able to tell you. But once you have that finished up, and so I'll just type those in here quick. You can hit next, and then it finished it up, and it's all done. And if you have everything typed in correctly, like your password and those settings, your email is just gonna start coming through and you can get using it no problem. If you're used to Outlook Express or Microsoft Outlook, you'll find that Windows Live Mail is very familiar. The menus look you know, similar, they're a little shinier maybe than the old versions, but they're, they're similar in every other way. You can find your email in the, the, if you can, in the inbox, you create new messages by clicking new, and I don't think you'll have any trouble finding your way around. Well, thanks for watching, and that was your Tech Time Tip. Oh.